To set up the split wing, begin by finding a flat or slightly convex camp spot where water won't pool underneath the tarp. Then, stake out the two foot corners of the split wing. This end should be pointing into the wind as much as possible. Adjust your trekking pole to the shortest setting and orient it with the tip pointing up in the center of the narrow end of the tarp. Run the guy line from the apex of the tarp around the tip of the trekking pole. We recommend a clove hitch as a secure way to do this, but simply wrapping it a few times works as well if you're feeling lazy. Then, maintain tension on the ridge line to keep the rear trekking pole up and insert the front trekking pole at the head of the tarp with the handle at the apex of the tarp and the tip in the ground. Pull out the front guy lines and stake them down. Finally, pull out the front corners of the tarp as far as is needed to make the pitch taut. If necessary, you can tweak the tension by tightening the front guy lines or raising the front or rear trekking poles. The wings at the opening allow you to adjust the front trekking pole to a range of heights and still achieve a taut pitch. Set it as low as 100 centimeters for an extra wide pitch with a small wind profile or as high as 130 centimeters for tons of headroom when you're flying solo. To set up the split wing with the vestibule, begin by setting the front trekking pole to 110 centimeters. Then, insert the handle of your trekking pole into the pole pocket at the top of the vestibule. Set up the tarp normally, and when you insert your front trekking pole, orient the vestibule facing out. Clip the side release buckles at the front corners of the split wing and attach the velcro patches, then stake out the front corners. Loop the vestibule stake loop around the front stake and tighten if necessary, and you're good to go! The mesh body is also designed to be pitched with the front trekking pole set to 110 centimeters. The three toggles along the ridge line of the mesh body correspond to the three O-rings on the underside of the split wing tarp and the two side toggles on the mesh body correspond to the two O-rings on the sides of the split wing tarp. One way to install the mesh body is to attach the toggles after the tarp is set up, but it's easiest to attach all the toggles and O-rings beforehand. Then, set up the tarp normally and loop the mesh body stake loops around the same stakes used for the split wing. Once attached, the split wing mesh body stays in place so it'll be all ready the next time you pitch the tarp, and it'll stay dry even if you're pitching it in the rain. When pitching the tarp with the mesh body, we like to offset the front trekking pole by a few inches to make it easier to get to the zipper. To set up the mesh body on its own, simply stake in the four corners, attach the O-rings on the included cords to the front and back apex of the mesh body, and loop them around your trekking poles before staking them in. We prefer to pitch the mesh body with the tip of the front trekking pole pointing up, but it works either way. Feel free to reach out to us on our website if you have any questions about the split wing or any of our other tents. Happy trails!